What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cup Full of Rose 8901. I'm back with another video. So, Kyrie Irving just got traded to the Celtics. Oh, my God. Isaiah Thomas with the Cavaliers. Fuck all that. Fuck the intro. Fuck all that. We got to get to it. Uh, I'm finna pull up this video. ESPN. Uh, Stephen A. reacting to it. I, I, I got to see what's going on. Do you agree with Amino Hassan and PJ Carlissimo that this deal is a win-win for both sides? Most well, I think it's a win-win, but I think that, you know, it also win -win. depends on how you look at it as well. I mean, if you're at a ball Cleveland, Celtics, obviously Kyrie Irving, Crowder. you get a they got Isaiah Thomas, certainty, uh, because he's a championship point and guard, a prolific Zizi. scorer in this game. He's and championship tested. You know what he brings speed. to the table. Not Which only that, be a first on top round of it, all, he's locked into the next two years plus a player option after that, uh, which we all believe that he'll exercise to opt out of his contract. But if you're Boston, you don't have to Isaiah think about Thomas, paying him next Isaiah summer Thomas. like you were going to have to think about with Isaiah it. Thomas. And but you don't, and he's not a miniature five Irvin nine guard, is, you know, so that you're worried about having here, to give thirty million. Thomas, and so that definitely bit, helps you. While bit. not only are you still in championship contention within the Eastern Conference, but you're incentivized even more because you got a guy in Kyrie Irving Thomas who wants more, it out. Uh, and if anybody has an incentive season. to go against LeBron and to try and beat him, it would be that, Kyrie Irving. So, Irv. so let's, let's put that in perspective. I don't see, I don't then in Cleveland, Isaiah is a big time scorer. Uh, Jay Crowder is a rough rider and a defender uh, who's capable of hitting outside shots. Um, and he's that physical presence fell for LeBron James, but also to was, protect LeBron James because Boston a lot of people might go at LeBron James in ways that, that you don't want your superstar to, to have to go up or fend up against on his own. Then you also have an unprotected first round pick because we all expect the Brooklyn Nets to flat out stink. Uh, they're years away from being relevant. Said, we know that. We and as a result, it's going to be a high pick on their part. All of those things into consideration, you got to love what Cleveland did for itself. Because remember, in the event that LeBron leaves, then you can elect not to pay Isaiah. Wow. So you're getting Isaiah's numbers off the books. You're getting wow. LeBron James' numbers off the Cleveland. book. You still got a Cleveland high, uh, anticipated trade, high first-round pick to Boston rebuild and retool. All of those things could potentially work in your favor, and that's what's going on Look right now for Cleveland. So I, it's a win-win, no question. But I still think for the immediate Isaiah, moment, uh, Boston has uh, a, a slight advantage, even though it won't matter much because they still wouldn't be Cleveland. Let me ask you about uh, one this aspect of the Celtics tri uh, side of this I trade, Stephen A., and that's the assets that Danny Ainge has been stockpiling for quite some time. Cleveland wanted Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum or that first-round draft pick. They got it. But we had heard that Danny Ainge had been reluctant to give up any of those three assets earlier, but now he got to the point that he gave it up. Your take Dang. on what he was trying to accomplish by, by stockpiling all of those assets, wow. but then ultimately giving was it up it to get Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Went to Boston. Well, you give it up to get Kyrie Irving because you got a prolific scorer who's championship tested. You don't have just a guy that can play. Basically. You got a guy that's proven that he's earned some championship hardware, and you're not worried about how he's going to form in the, perform in the biggest moments imaginable. Harry so that Gordon certainly and, helps. Outside of that, um, you know, there have been times where we scratched our head and we wondered whether or not Danny Ainge was going to go for it. Danny Ainge could have finally been feeling they the pressure that was mounting I mean, in the city of Boston where he's done an absolutely yeah, outstanding job out. as an executive in terms of positioning the Boston Celtics the, the to be in this place, but at the same time still reluctant and a bit hesitant to the trigger. You got to remember, he could have had his hands on Jimmy but Butler Cameron's, if he was willing like to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, surrender a few assets, but he wasn't willing to do that. And I think Brown ultimately the pressure that was not in order for him to take a chance based on all the work he had done over the year, combined with not wanting to pay the miniature starters as Isaiah Thomas in excess of $30 million a year after next season or feeling pressured to do so, he knew that he was going to have to bite the pillar in some capacity, so why not do it now? Wow. That, that's crazy. Kyrie went to Boston. Wow. That's gonna be crazy. That's 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 gonna do it for this video though. Why why do it seem like uh, Kyrie and LeBron are pulling some Westbrook Durant types? Like why I feel like uh, when they played them for the, for the the first game of the year, why I feel like that Kyrie gonna be on some nah I ain't shaking your hand type shit. Like they said he was mad. He didn't he didn't want to be. I don't know, under LeBron or something like that. I, I, I don't fucking know. But all I know is, it's going to be crazy. It, then it somehow was the first game that they played each other. That's, that's just fucking, that's weird. That's a coincidence. But, man, that's going to do it. Uh, Steven, they hit it right on know. It's a win-win. The Cavaliers on the bench. Y'all looked out. Y'all won the straight. Y'all looked out for y'all. 
and they know that it's like they know LeBron leaving after this year. But that's gonna do it, man. Um, my thoughts on this is is a win-win. I just thought I just said that, but uh, <laughs> Boston, it, geez, good Lord. they just got Kyrie Irving. That's crazy for the East. But what now? He gets the lead. He gets. He's gonna be the leader of the team. Bro. Hey, they gonna be nasty. They gonna be nasty. Hey, shout out. It's been your boy. Go for the one. I gotta get up to it. I gotta get up out of here. NBA is getting crazy.